Good morning, class. I hope you guys are doing uh, well, keeping stay, keeping safe, and keeping sane um, during these this really weird time. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through uh, zip files, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the zip file, but they're really really cool. What they do is they use compression to take a file that's a megabyte and it converts it down to half a megabyte, or depending on the compression and depending on the stuff, you can get pretty small, which makes it super, super easy to email files because in Outlook, you can only have a 20 megabyte limit to the number of attachments you can send via, via email. So if you have 40 megabytes worth of, full of, of pictures, say you're emailing a bunch of pictures to someone, you, you could compress them using, make them into a, a zip file. And instead of it being, you know, 30 megabytes, it might be 15 or whatever. I'm not hundred percent sure on the the rate at which it com is compressed. It depends on the file, it depends on the compression. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the book here. You can, if you want to download a zip file, you can go to it, no start. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Um, so yeah, you can download some stuff there, or we're just going to use a file. We're just going to make one. So that's an example zip. If or we can't make one yet, we gotta we gotta have one. So what we're gonna do is look at my videos. I'm sure I have a download downloaded zip file. Yes, I downloaded some software yesterday. So I'm gonna copy this zip file. Copy and where's my python script there it is there it is so currently this file is three megs we'll see zipped um, so what we're gonna do i now have this we're gonna import zip file zip file is not one you have to command line you don't have to pip install it it comes with python so you should just be able to do that we're going to also import os and again i'm just going to follow what's going on here so from path lib import path as path and again i dislike doing this so i am just going to example zip oops Example zip is zip file dot zip file. I notice in this section, capital Z, capital F. R. And I'm going to go here. Oop. Should not have done that because that's not what I wanted. So it's core hyper master dot zip. So what this is, um, an example zip is now a zip file object. It doesn't say, it's not a variable, it's an object. An object is a stored value. An object is a stored thing with multiple attributes. Um, just a little review on the difference between a, 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 a variable and a, an object. So if we were to do this and do example file dot name list, oh yeah, example zip dot name list, that has 600, that has a lot of things in it. I did not know. So if we open core master, I have a lot of stuff in here. So it went through and basically wrote, wrote said that there was 655 lines worth of files, which if we highlight this and go properties, I don't know if it will. Yeah, we haven't zip. Oh, I haven't extracted it. What's going on with my computer? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in that file. Let me try this again. If you extract it, well, so as a, an example, 
originally that was the the zipped file is three megabytes and the core master so this is so if we look here 3.35 megs this by itself is five or size on disk size on disk 6.71 so it's about half so this zip nameless gives you the file gives you the names of the files and it cats cats name text folders and files get info so if we want you know file info equals example zip dot get info this will give us info on the file so let's pick a file in here um, assignment of copyright yeah that's, we need to know about that dot mm -hmm. PDF what are you talking about oh cuz I have to Why is everything so slow? All right, well, what is going on? Get info spam.txt. Hang on, I think it's because This is a great video so far. Never mind to copy, paste. And it might also be um, issues because everything is syncing. And I'm also, yeah, I'm not, there's a couple things that could be going wrong. Yeah, I think that was gonna work because this is not this is not the zip file that I'm messing with. This is the zip file. So can I add that there? Now let's see if this will work. Nope, okay, I don't know what's going on. But here you go, this little, this little section here, and again, it might be because my OneDrive is syncing and I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. Um, but this will allow you to compare the a size in or um, a file in you. Uh, this allows you to compare the previous size of the file and the compressed size of the file, so you can find out that it's three point six three times smaller. Sorry about that. Extracting from zip files. We're going to. This is helpful because this is once you've downloaded a zip file, you need to then read through it and extract it. Because if you notice in my extract here, it, or I'm in, in here, I'm inside the zip file c.zip. And if I double click this, there are times when you can't use something in a zip file. Like you have to extract it in order to even read it. And as you can see, my computer's waking out, and I'm not sh probably because of what I'm recording. But notice, these are the only options I have, and even when I go to properties, I, there's not that much. Right? There's no tabs up here, just general. Whereas if I go to this one, this is the extracted version, and I go to the same file in the same directory, I have a lot more options I can edit. I can try to code it, I can share it, I can go to properties, and I have a lot more information, security details. So if you want a full functionality of a file, you need to extract it from the zip file. So that's all, that's what this does here. So let's walk through that. Again, um, I'm just gonna use example zip from up here. And if we do example zip dot extract all 
Do, do, do. Notice that was a lot faster. Is it in here? Three, wait. Oh, it might have overwritten this one. No, because it'd still be sinking. Uh oh, I don't know where that went. Oh, extracted to C. I missed that. So what it does is it puts it. Uh oh. I have no idea where that file went because it is not according to the book in C. Okay, so let that be a lesson to us. Um, uh oh. I can't really code with you if my coding's not working. All right, well, I'm gonna see if that responds. Otherwise, I'm just gonna walk you through this, which is really lame, I know, but I have 10 minutes to get this out to you. Make sure you add folders. Don't just extract an entire file like I did accidentally um, I put an actual folder put an actual directory to extract it to um, and then if you want to just extract a single file so, so let's say you have a really 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 big compressed file that compresses you know a gig and it's normally 10 gigs or whatever you can look for a specific file so I know it's in here and all I need to do is extract, extract that one file I don't want a hundred gigs of stuff on my computer I just want one file or a type of file, what you can do is you can have any text file in that zip file, you can extract it. Um, creating and adding to zip files. This is very similar to opening a, just an actual file. Just, excuse me. You need to have the write or append here. So just like with opening a file, you can either write it, which will overwrite what's there, or you can append to it and it will add to it this right here so you open a new file with the zip file that zip file and then what you do is you write and whatever's here whatever files i'm not sure if you can put a folder in there um i don't know why you couldn't that's still broken awesome um and then compression type compress type is zip file dot zip deflated this is the one that works best with most things so it's probably the most common um, i'm sure there's other ones out there that's specific for pictures if you're compressing pictures and that sort of thing um but for now hopefully i mean i know this video is pretty lame because ha huh, the code's not working it's broken um and i mean it's just like normal class isn't it guys where I'm not 100% sure why something's not working. But that's coding for you. That's coding for you. It works and I don't know why and it's broken and I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. Um, what I want you guys to do is go through here. If you have any questions, send me an on-campus message. I understand this video was, again, kind of lame, but if you send it to me, I'll do my best to answer them or give you some code, give you some help. Um, as for the assignment, what? As for the assignment, it's zip files. I want you guys to work on zip files. So, anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Talk to you later.